Hi, I'm Styx and this is Torment Tides of Numenera and we are done in this little area. Oh, I can zoom out. Lovely. So, let's go outside. The girl wants to talk to me. Uh, how did I do? Uh, no, not that button. Talk. Oh, I see. Triangle. This is the reef of fallen worlds, kid. It's a dangerous place at the best of times. And with you lighting up the sky as you fell, but we should get out of here as soon as possible. Why were you looking at me when you said that? I wasn't, he growls. Don't be so paranoid. But when she isn't looking, he raises his eyebrows at you knowingly. It's a very strange duo, these two. Uh, what makes the reef so dangerous? The Numenera of the past are always dangerous, but there are other dangers too, some closer to others. What are Numenera? Interesting. Numenera is anything from the prior worlds, but mostly we mean the stuff of value to us. A lot of the Numenera are just oddities, fancy trinkets, but little real use. But sometimes you'll get a cipher that lets you do something incredible. Artifacts are worth even more. A cipher will only do something once. But artifacts last last a lot longer, though they can burn out at the most inconvenient times. He frowns. Not that it's ever happened to me. Of course, we've got no idea what most of this junk was originally intended for. In most cases, it doesn't really matter. Like you might find but it used to be a propulsion unit for a star chariot. But who the hell knows enough to build you the rest of it? Better to use it as a weapon or a power source, he scowls. Frustrated about something. I bet we could remake the world if we knew a tenth of the secrets of the ancients. But most days it's a challenge just to survive. Can you tell me about your tattoos? They look almost alive. These? They're nothing. Call them a consolation, if you must. He smiles grimly. Some call them by worse names, but that's because they have occasions to run afoul of these little snakes. He looks away. This line of questioning is clearly at an end. Hmm. 
What's your story? Ask me again when we get out of here. I don't trust this damned reef any more than the company we keep. Hmm. So, what do you think of Calistag? A parasite disguised as a scholar. Don't be surprised if she betrays you before the day is done. Actually, that would be slow for her. And why are you traveling with her? He clenches his mouth shut, and you can see his jaw muscles working. She said she could help me with the problem I had. We never seemed to get anywhere with my business, but found plenty of time for hers. He looked you square in the eye. It wasn't something I cared to do again. Keep that in mind when you talk to her. Hmm. Uh, what do you think we should do next? You want to fix the crystal chamber back there, yeah? First step is getting out of this reef. Well, let's keep going, alright? Uh, let's talk to Killstag. She has something else to say. Watch your steps, child. This is not a place to walk lightly. There are dangers in the reef, both old and new. What kind of dangers are there in the reef? Marriott. We walk among the Numenera. Detritus of fallen worlds and antediluvian wars that everything in the reef knows that its wars ended long ago. Yet the true dangers are contemporary. The reef holds the promise of treasure for the determined, but not always for the scrupulous. Why is the resonance chamber here in the reef? An astute question, my dear. The most likely answer is that your sire discovered something he could repurpose for his own designs. If you can seal a dome as well as he did, the reef is a good is as good a place as any for experimentation. She doesn't want to tell about herself either, at least while we are still in the reef. So, um, what do you think of Elegern? Her lips pucker like she is tasting something foul. He is useful, she finally says. At least he was, once, if that pompous lack nibber. Forgive my language, dear. Find one more fault with me. I expect my sisters will murder him in several realities. She cocks her head to the side. Hmm, there goes one now. Why were you traveling with him in the first place? She sighs, the sound echoing like the hissing of a balloon. He was not always so sour. He was a man of science, an Aeon priest who reveled in knowledge, but his pain has affected him and he sees the world through that cast. It would be tragic, but her echoes all seem as exasperated as she, and she continues, but he is the same in every existence in which I know him. It has become incredibly tiresome. Who are all these echoes of you? They are me. We are part of each other, sisters across infinite, infinite realities. We share our experiences and power. What's that old saying? That experience brings wisdom? I must be the wisest person in the Sega's cliffs. The wisest across countless worlds. Her laughter peels out. I just imagine Elegern just rolls his eyes. 
but just creeps at her from the corner of his eyes in disgust. Okay, let's keep going, all right? Okay, there is much to look at. Examine. The water is clear, almost unnaturally so. We're feeling ruins upon ruins as far as you can see. Huh. I Atlantis. <laughs> Loot. I'm going. More shins, so shins are the currency I learned Fleetfoot Moss healing item you picked up some items and equipment to make full use of them you will need to view them equip them or share them between your party members to view your inventory is press blah 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 a lutrated force I have no idea what it is let's find out First, this equipment. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cyphers. Cyphers was the most complicated thing I. Uh, that is. Uh, uh, that is explained in this game. Cyphers is something new, except. Uh, I suppose. Some, some form of it in every game I guess, runes or enhancements, they are the same thing, except how it is explained in this game just feels more complicated. Cyphers shown in the inner rings are highlighted in blue and are safe to carry. Those on the outer ring highlighted in orange are over your cipher limit and inflicts negative effects as long as you, as you are carrying them. You can use, sell, discard, or transfer it into another party member to get back under your cipher limit. But uh, how it is explained? That um, yeah, it sounds almost like you don't have, um, you don't get to choose which cipher you want to use. Only yeah. Almost. I, but I don't know yet. I'm playing this game blind, so yeah. Uh, examine. Spray flash is an healing item. And cephalic ruse heals three points of intellect. This heals three points of speed. What is this? Heals three points of might. I see. A cluster of metallic tendrils grows from the depths of the nearby water. Strangely, they resemble clawed alien hands, most of which have seven or eight fingers. Yeah, I can see. Hmm, very weird. Examine the cluster. Perception. You try to lean around the nearest palm and notice that it innocently moves with you, as if guided by a wind that's not there. You feint right and go left instead, just in time to see what the hand was trying to hide. One of the lower hands is passing a small silvery object, a seed pod, to another. Hmm. Smashing, break one of, break one of the hands. Oh no, I want to try quick fingers, but it is speed. I have a lot of might. Hmm, let's try. I can use uh, the pool stats, the pools for my other companions as well. 
Uh, he only has a, a few, so let's sacrifice Alagorn's speed. Success! You wait for an opening, then snatch the pod as it passes from one hand to another. Immediately a wave of outrage washes over you from the class's direction. Gained item. Steel seed pod. Examine. What is this? Some kind of weapon? Deals 13 physical damage and converts bleeding. Two physical damage per turn consumes action. So this kind of magical item, I suppose. You snatch this pod from a cluster of metallic tendrils in the reef of fallen worlds. You can hear scratching sounds and observe the faint movements of unborn tendrils inside. If you throw it, the pod is likely to burst and the little tendrils will burrow into your target's flesh. So it's a one-time use. Okay. It appears you've made an en enemy. Congratulations, dear. Uh, examine the cluster again. Does it hide something? The hands sway softly, but their movements are difficult to follow. Watching them for too long makes you feel nauseous. Apart from the hands themselves, you don't notice anything of interest in the cluster. Okay. I can still try to smash one of the hands. But, hmm, no, I'm going to walk away. 